Good morning, guys. So, we're working on the S10. I know everyone always wants me to do work on this, and we are finally doing it. So, the S10, one reason we didn't like driving it was my shocks are blown out. They're old air shocks. I got them in 2016. We need new shocks. So, I went to Napa and got some new shocks. And then also, another thing is when the body shop, when we got it painted, I had cracked my bed because the tires in the back are Corvette wheels and they're a little bit too aggressive and it hits the bed because of the inner tub. So they had to weld the bed and fix that but so we don't crack the paint anymore or crack it again, I should say. Um, we're gonna have to cut the inner fenders out and I'll show you all that right now. And right now, as y'all can see, we have the inner tub and we cut out a little bit right here but we need to cut all of this out so it gives us clearance. We're gonna try to keep this tub because there's two shells to it. We're gonna try to keep this but right now, Jordan's jacking it up. Oh, say hi, Jordan. What's up, brother? Yeah, he's the one with the Ranger, guys. Um, and then we're going to jack it up, and we'll show you all these blown air shocks. Um, actually, Jordan, uh, before we jack it up, I guess I should show them how bad it is, right? Yeah, I'm going to put it in. Yeah. And I'll let Jordan show you how bad these shocks are. But that's... That's... Uh... that's that, I mean, that's like... We're not big dudes, but... I mean, a lot of play in it. So, these shocks are super old, so it's time to change them out. So, so we're going to jack it up, put some stands on it, get, show you all the difference. So, right now, we are trying to figure that out, but I'll put the camera right here so y'all can see Jordan doing his work. You need an extension for these? Is that 13? So right now we're moving the air lines because we had originally, originally we had air shocks on it, but I do not recommend air shocks, guys. So yeah, we're getting rid of all that crap. So. It worked for when I had it, but this truck is just way too bouncy. Even with air, when we put air inside it, it still would bounce a lot. So we are getting rid of that. And you said you don't recommend them anyways, right, Jordan? Nah, I don't want a Mustang and neighbors all the time. They just always leave. And they just, you know, like, I don't... And look at that, guys. These are some big shocks. Way bigger than um the actual, like, air shocks we have. The air shocks are just clapped out. So I'm going to put them side by side and you can see the difference. So while Jordan does that, I'm going to get these wheels off because... We're gonna need clearance to put the cutting wheel in there and get that all taken off. I'm gonna set you all right here. Oh no, they're blown out. Look at that guys, look. Look, they're not even, they're not, they're supposed to, yeah, they are. Look, they're well, not I even, guess because they don't have any air on them. No, they, they shouldn't, really they shouldn't be leaking. Oh yeah. They should still have like some type of like seal. So yeah. yeah, yeah, those are those are bad, right? Are That's why it was causing like that. But look, guys, so this is the new one, and that's the one that's all like. Look, it's not even like spreading out no more. Wow. So now we got the wheel off. We can actually see Jordan. But yeah, look, guys, there's the clapped out shock right there, and this is the big boy shock. So he's just getting he's cutting this off to get it lined up. You think it's gonna ride a lot better, Jordan? And if y'all wondering what this is, guys, it's really kind of ghetto. But when I did the monoleaf on this, this piece right here, it would shift. So we put this here just to keep it like from shifting on itself. So working so far, though. Yeah, guys, look how bad they are. So here's the shot. Have, we have extended out. We're gonna push it down. not even going up no more and yes they're air shocks but they should still have some resistance by themselves the air just helps it you know go up a little bit higher but yeah these have no like it's not even coming back up so good thing we're changing them out finally all right guys so now we got all new shocks super super stiff so hopefully rides a lot better and now we're gonna cut the inner oh, tubs. Try it. I think I think maybe we cut it here. 
So a theory we had, guys, was we thought the truck was too low and the tires were too aggressive that it was hitting the fender. But because these shocks were so bad, the truck sat so low and it was hitting the inside of the fender. But before we start cutting anything, see how you can see where it's rubbing? Because before it used to be almost like fender to tire. So we might be like an inch or two above now, but we're not fully sure yet until we check it out. Is the axle going up? Yeah. It's as high as I got. Well, you still got a lot more to go. It's not even full. Yeah. Or you think we should put the truck down? And yeah, you think you're worth throwing down and just jump on it? That's easy, Alright, let's get the stand up. Well, guys, we just got back from the test drive and it doesn't hit, and it actually stopped the wheel hop. So, yeah, the shocks were blown out and they just didn't have any, um, I guess what, any stability, I guess. No travel or nothing, but now there's travel and it didn't raise it up or nothing, it just kept it at the same height, so that's, that's good. There you go guys, man, I think it looks beautiful in the sun. So, thank you to Jordan for the help on that, giving me an extra hand. But now, she's actually drivable and she's safe. So, hopefully I'll be seeing her a lot more sooner. Oh, we got a few more things to do, but she's safe to drive now. So we just gotta get her insured and probably bedline it too, because this is so ugly. Well guys, we finished the shocks. Time to get it all loaded up now. Oh, yeah, so right now guys, we are getting the exhaust. We're getting uh, our cats taken off. Yeah, I feel like the S10 is a little bit too quiet with the stock cat and the Blowmaster, so we're gonna cut off that cat and hopefully that Blowmaster Hopefully it opens up the truck. And see there right there guys, that's the cat right there. Oh. Oh. Okay, and look at all these different exhausts. They got blue ones, black, red, chrome, duals. Sounds like guys, it was a little loud in that shot, but it doesn't sound too bad. We had the flow master right there, and they just took the cat off right there. I don't know if I can see that, but it has a good idol.
watching and just make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all.